Hi everyone, I'm Darth Cry Boy, and I can now put my feet up as I do a video with my freaking camera. So I'd like to do a fucking rant! You know what that rant is? It's about Star Wars Episode Four: New Hope, the 2011 Blu-ray edition. I know I'm two years late to the fucking party on this one, but you know what? The rocks, the rocks, see the rocks. Fucking stupid, right? The yell. Oh, God. I was laughing my ass off at Obi-Wan Kenobi. I should never, ever be laughing at Obi-Wan. Especially in the original trilogy, when he's old and wise and great and powerful and badass. You know, teaching Luke a little bit from his ghost form. That's the fucking Obi-Wan I shouldn't be laughing at. If anything, I should be laughing a little bit at Ewan McGregor for his dialogue delivery. But you know what? I don't hate the prequels. I think they're subpar. I think they're a little bit above average. They're entertaining. What I fucking hate are these freaking special editions. You know, it, you know, it... You can't, it's not that difficult to find the theatrical versions of the prequels. Not that difficult, okay? Really not that fucking difficult. What I don't understand, okay? The very first Star Wars. I'll get the fucking movie. I, I have it. It's right over here. Right here. See? Yeah, see that? I've had this thing for many years now, okay? Okay? I've had this DVD version of it since maybe 2009 or 8, I don't remember, sometime then. The point is, this is the only way. Oh, I'm sorry, it's in the freaking player. It's in my fucking PS3. This is the only way, so far, as of 2013, March to be exact, on March 13th, 2013, this is the only way you can watch the original trilogy on, some, on something smaller than a laser disc. This is the only version you can do that on. And it's not even that great of a copy either. Like, like the Blu-ray version, it looks fucking amazing. You're going from this with its Dolby Channel 2 audio to DTS 6.1, freaking amazing. You know what really gets me, you know what pisses me off even more? Okay, and he could have done this with the Phantom Menace. Of course, there are probably tons of fan edits, though. Okay, putting this down here to get a couple more things out. If... You know, I'm getting another fucking movie out. The King Kong remake is... Three hours, seven minutes long. That is the, that's the theatrical cut. The extended cut is three hours and 20 minutes. You know what's amazing? You really want to know what's freaking amazing? It's on the same disc. Yes, you practically have six hours of... Full 1080p 
video file on here, okay? You pretty much have, you have, you can store six hours, if not more than that, on a Blu-ray disc. Then, why in the fuck didn't George Lucas just do this? 2011 edition? 1977 edition on the same damn disc. You know, he is use your little Blu-ray remote. Just use your little fucking remote. Oh, I turned the console on. Oh wait, it was already on. Just use that. Great. I turned the PS3 on by accident. Yeah. <coughs> Just flip around with your little fucking menu. No problem. No freaking problem at all. <coughs> you could have done this with all three of the original films. Hell, you could have done it with episode one even. If you really wanted to see the shitty ass puppet from that movie. God, okay. I, I watched the Blu-ray version of that movie. But, if I were George Lucas, if I were George Lucas, I would never dare edit the... Special, I would never edit. I wouldn't alter a movie that got me nominated for Best Picture. That's what I wouldn't fucking do. This was nominated for Best Picture of 1978. It lost, I don't know what it lost to. The point is, it was nominated. You do not, you do not freaking do that. Or at least I wouldn't. Hell, if I were him and I really wanted to make those special editions, I, I, I'd go even more extreme. I would make the special... I'd span on two discs even. Okay? The three special edition versions. The, 19, the 1997, 2004, and 2011 versions. All on one Blu-ray disc. Theatrical version, I'd still clean it up. Get the resolution, make it nice. Maybe add... Maybe tweak one or two things to make it a little nicer, you know, get my guys at LM to do it. What I wouldn't fucking do is edit those movies constantly. Thank God Disney bought Lucasfilm. Because Disney is the biggest freaking money-grabbing corporation you will meet. Period. They released deluxe sets of their movies. Special editions. Hell, they bundled the original Cinderella with three sequels that no one even knew about or cared about even. Okay? So, Disney, please, please re-release the original trilogy on Blu-ray. Just give us a box set, like around, like maybe 2014. I wouldn't mind it. You know, hype up the hype up the new Star Wars film. You know, re-release all six. Please, Disney, please do it. Please make a lot of fanboys like me happy. Live long and prosper, and have a great day.